All right, looks like we're going to go for that basilic or that brachial on the left or on the, on the right side. It's a good straightaway too. It doesn't shift like that. Mm -hmm. That one on the left shifts to the right, mm -hmm. like so. And so I think it'll be better to do a more straightaway, straighter vein, which is going to be about from the AC, from the axilla crease to the AC crease. We've got our midpoint right about here. So we're going to inject at this point. Are you ready for the poke? Okay. Here we go. Three, two, okay. one. Can you feel this? Oh, yeah. Can you feel this? Oh, yeah. Can you feel this? No. Can you feel this? Mm, yeah. Ouch. I'm sorry, hon. So it looks like saline does not do very well. Gavir. Not in the vein. Almost. My vein is off. No. I'm gonna work on the whole hard work because it shouldn't be by being bigger. This is my needle tip right there. I'm gonna advance. Looks like I hit some fascia. I don't think I punctured the vein yet. I don't see flashback or blood return. Flashback on my needle, so we're going to. There we go. There it is. Okay, now it's a pretty small. And uh, you can see me continuing to pitch up, and now I've ran out of room to pitch any further, so hopefully the vein does not move more superficial. Luckily, it's. Quite a straight line vertically. Mm -hmm. Got my blood return, and I'm going to feed the guy. Ooh, that's a loose guide wire. Very smooth transition. Beautiful. You can use that. You can use that Beautiful. Bit. All right, so at this point, I like to remove the gel because the gel makes it very slippery when I'm trying to apply traction on the skin. Mm -hmm especially when I'm trying to shove the dilator through the skin, mm -hmm. which can be difficult a lot of times when everything is slippery. There we go. I'm sorry, honey. I'm through the skin pretty well, so I'm going to get the catheter ready. Mm -hmm. This is the Hydromid catheter, so we need it to prehydrate. I forgot to show you that part. But you want to prehydrate these catheters before starting and, and I like to put this come with, come with needle. yeah mm -hmm. so I'm actually just gonna pull the whole thing out and get the catheter ready oops oh yeah so that's not helpful there it is I feel the warm feel a little warm mm -hmm. it's just the blood Oh, that was blood. Uh-huh. There we go. Feeding it through. It's going nice and smooth. Way up to here. There we go. You put the blood in or take it out? Catheter's in. Now I'm gonna put the vein, put the blood in. Yeah, yeah, it's in. You did so good. Very good. Okay. So move that out of the way. All right. So what I like to do at this point is clean off any blood in that site. All right. Change out gloves. And today we're gonna use the TKOs that come, these are the needleless anti-reflux needleless connectors. Fantastic for removing or preventing reflux back into the catheter during flush. So it eliminates human error. 
Okay, so this is a Silveron. This is Silveron antimicrobial silver disc. Mm. This dark part needs to be on the skin. So it needs to be facing the skin for it to be working. And you want to, what I did before I applied is put a few drops of saline. You want it to be soaked with saline so it activates the silver for its antimicrobial effect. It won't work as effectively when it's dry. Okay, so now we're going to apply the stat lock and this, this uh, is your securement device. Mm -hmm. And we're only keeping this line for the surgery. Mm -hmm. So, I'm not worried about longevity of these, this particular catheter. There we go. And we're gonna apply the skin prep. Apply skin prep around the skin. Also today we'll be using Ivy Clear. So this is the silicone based adhesive. This is softer on the skin and less abrasive during removal. So this is a highly recommended for patients with high sensitivity to adhesive or have trouble with adhesive. So I'm gonna get this here, match it to the skin. And then we're gonna take off the second tab. Now, with silicone, actually all adhesives and dressings, what a lot of people miss is you want to apply pressure on the dressing and make sure that the adhesive piece is tackified to every groove, every pore of the skin. Just putting on it on lightly will not help to tackify. What we want to do is apply pressure to hit every nook and cranny of our skin. Believe it or not, our skin is not smooth in the cellular level. And so, and so we want to make sure that uh, the adhesive, the silicone is tackified to every pore, every ridge of the skin. And this allows for the adhesive to tackify better on the skin. And so you want to kind of crease it around as best as you can, of course, depending on patient tolerance, look how smooth that looks. Now, if you want, you could use these to help secure. But remember, this part is acrylic and this part is silicone. So if your, par if your patients have allergies to acrylic, you do not want to use these dressing, these, uh, these, these reinforcements. With these with these uh, IV Clear, was it Cova Clear? No, IV Clear, the Covalon IV Clear, these have CHG already in the dressing, so this is going to have its my antimicrobial effect as well. So just keep that in mind. I think that's all we need. We don't need anything extra. And don't forget to date and time it. Remember, the silicone is going to be a lighter adhesive. Mm. So if your patient is extra sweaty, consider mm. using Mastisol to reinforce the edges to make sure it sticks on very well. All right, here's another piece. Another really cool thing I want to show you guys is this. This is the Linear Orchid Safety Disconnector. I'm gonna show you guys how it works. It's actually pretty amazing. Yeah. So we're going to apply here. So that's gonna connect on one side and it's going to connect on this other side. Okay. Now. Look at that. Yeah, that guy too. So, so it came off. Medication is stopped. Watch, you're gonna hear the hear it beep in a couple seconds. So I'm gonna pause that. So you can see that it had completely stopped and maintained sterility of the line. So now we don't have to throw away the line. This line is still protected. The site is protected. We don't have to throw away the medication, nor is the medication going to waste. The pump is stopped and whatever was flowing is going to reduce medication waste, is going to reduce uh, tubing waste. And now all we need to do is just remove these broken pieces for her. 
and connect it back restart and now we're good so another thing we're going to show you guys this is the Covalon Valguard mm. this is going to help to reduce any accidental contamination mm -hmm. so inside of there's little grooves mm -hmm. at these con all these connector pieces mm -hmm. and if there's any uh, accidental stool feces mm -hmm. Anything that can get inside these grooves can cause contamination actually intraluminally and actually go in the veins directly. Uh, I have seen, I'll post a picture of this. It can be, it can, because we can contaminate the inside from all these grooves, we need to protect these sites from uh, critical patients, especially when they're high likelihood or high risk of contamination with uh, fluids. So this is the Valgar. We take off. The first piece, mm -hmm. piece number one, mm -hmm. and then we cover all the major connective pieces mm -hmm. to make sure they don't get contaminated. So we're going to crease the edges here, right here like so, and we're going to take the leaflets of number two. Mm -hmm. So step number two is to take off these edges. And then you want to pinch and roll pinch while you're removing mm. step two at mm. the same time. So now you're creating this nice seal and you want to really get in mm. this groove here to make sure that we are not contaminating mm. and not allowing anything inside. Mm. So now this is going to protect the line from things going in and contaminating the site. This is fantastic for pediatric patients, for uh, femoral lines. Uh, anything that's a high risk or exposure for stool, and urine, and other contaminant fluids to seep inside these grooves. Mm -hmm. And this is an easy removal. All you gotta do is just take the blue tab, pull that off, and disconnect. Super easy to use. 